Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. Astronomical science originated in a much earlier period of human history than the other natural sciences. In the remote past, when practical knowledge in daily life and work had not yet led to a systematic study of physics and chemistry, astronomy was already a highly developed science. This antiquity determines the special place which astronomy has occupied in the history of human culture. The other realms of knowledge developed into sciences only in later centuries, and this development took place mainly within the walls of universities and laboratories, where the noise of political and social strife seldom penetrated. Astronomy, on the contrary, had already manifested itself in the ancient world as a system of theoretical knowledge that enabled man to prophesy even the terrifying eclipse and had become a factor in his spiritual strife. This history is associated with the process of the growth of mankind. Since the rise of civilization, and to a great extent, belongs to times in which society, and the individual, labor and right, science and religion, still formed undivided entities. In the ancient world and in the following centuries astronomical doctrine was an essential element in the world concepts, at once religious and philosophical which reflected social life. When the modern physicist looks back at his earliest predecessors, he finds men like himself, with similar though more primitive views on experiment and conclusion, on cause and effect. When the astronomer looks back at his predecessors, he finds Babylonian priests and Magikians, Greek philosophers, Mohammedan princes, medieval monks, Renaissance nobles, and clerics until in the scholars of the 17th century he meets with modern citizens of his own kind. To all these men astronomy was not a limited branch of specialist science, but a world system interwoven with the whole of their concept of life. Not the traditional tasks of a professional guild, but the deepest problems of humanity. Inspired their work. The history of astronomy is the growth of man's concept of his world. He always instinctively felt that the heavens above were the suri and essence of his life in a deeper sense than the earth beneath. Light and warmth came from heaven. There the sun and the other celestial luminaries described their orbits, there dwelt the gods who ruled over his destiny and wrote their message in the stars. The heavens were near and the stars played their part in the life of man. The study of stars was the unfolding of this higher world, the noblest object that human thinking and spiritual effort could find. This study continued through many centuries, and even in antiquity. The periodic recurrence of celestial phenomena, and the vastness of the universe. Within the all-encompassing celestial sphere with its stars, the Earth, though for man the center and chief object, was only a globe. Other world bodies sun, moon and planets, some of the most larger size circulated around her. This was a world concept which, was kept as a heritage, and at the end of the Middle Ages was transmitted to the rising West European culture. There in the 16th century, driven by a strong social development, astronomy gave rise to a new concept of the world. It disclosed that what seemed the most certain knowledge of the foundation of our life the immobility of Earth was merely an appearance. It showed moreover, that our Earth was only one of several similar planets, beyond was endless space with the stars as, it was a revolution, opening new ways of thinking, mankind had to reorientate itself in its world. In those centuries of revolution the contest over astronomical truth was an important element in the spiritual struggle accompanying the great social upheavals. Astronomy, like the study of nature in general, now entered a new era. The next century brought the discovery of the fundamental or controlling or eleven motions in the universe. Philosophical thinking was for the first time confronted with an exact and strict law of nature. The old mystical, astrological connection between the heavenly bodies and man was replaced by the all-pervading mechanical action of gravitation. 
Then, at last, the concept of the universe widened to ever larger dimensions, the science of the totality of the universe, though now merely in a spatial sense whereas in the ancient world the idea of the unity of the heavenly and the human worlds exalted the hearts of the students of nature, now men are stirred by the proud consciousness of the power of the human mind, which from our small eye dwelling place is able to reach up to the remotest distance. In early times, when physical theory was but abstract speculation, astronomy was already an ordered system of knowledge giving practical orientation in time and space. In later centuries, astronomical research was directed more and more towards theoretical knowledge of the structure of the universe, far beyond any practical application, to satisfy the raving for truth, i.e. for intellectual beauty. Then the mutual relation of the science became the opposite of what it had been before. Physics, chemistry, and biology shot up with increasing rapidity. Through technical applications they revolutionized society and changed the aspect of the Earth. In this revolution astronomy stood aside. The stars cannot contribute to our techniques, our material life, or our organization. So their study became more and more an idealistic pursuit tending toward a physical knowledge of the universe. Brilliant triumphs in a transformation of the human world, the study of astronomy became a work of culture, an adventure of the mind. Elias history thus remains what it has always been, an essential part in the history of human culture. Whoever penetrates into the past participates in the development of the human race as his own experience. This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It, on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Inker, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify. Support us on Patreon and check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.